I'm Ed, this is my son Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today, rub a dub dub and get these beers in my tum. Uh, I think we're back in Quebec. Well, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> it always ends up. The, it, it it's almost becoming like like an inside joke where just something always has to be from Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this from Belgium? Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. We have a Belgian beer here. Extra strong beer, it says. We did this whole, like, world tour thing. Yep. And then we're like, all right, you know, we're back to having full frontal Quebecois beers. Yeah, and this is a Trappist de Rochefort. Which, uh, Trappist, it could be Trappist monks. Authentic Trappist product. Anyway, don't know what that's all about. So this is a trap. This is a. It says ten beer, ten, ten beer. I don't. I guess a number of their beers because they make so many. That's how old it is. It's ten years old. Ooh, that's gonna be a good beer. Eleven point three percent. I'm sorry. Wow. That's more than wines. That is gonna knock us on our asses. If we're lucky. And the other one. It's oh, La Voix Malte. This is a good, I know this is a Quebec beer. Malta this is another nice. extra, extra strong beer. Oh, a lot of extra strong beers today. Man, we're going to get shit-faced. <laughs> uh, 9.5%. It's called Wee Heavy. It's a Wee Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. It's a Wee Heavy. It's a Wee Heavy. Uh, what do they say about it? A robust brown beer revealing dark reflections with notes of caramel and a mildly woody finish. Oh, wood. Okay. It's sporting wood. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Serve between something and something and blah, 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 and all this stuff. We have uh, Quebec, We Heavy, and we've got the uh, Trappist de Rochefort uh, from Belgium. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, I feel like we should start with We Heavy because I, I, I'm... I mean, it, the Belgian beer, I'm kind of, like, it's doing a thing where it's making me forget the words that I wanted to fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Man, you haven't even had a sip. I, I haven't even started. So you want to start with uh, this one? No, because I have hopes for this one being really good. Okay, so you want to start with We Heavy? We yeah. Heavy is rather apropos, considering... Where are We Heavy? I'm hoping this one's going to be good. This may be become this may become like uh, our signature beer. You never know. Oh man, if we could get like a sponsorship, that would be awesome. Man, th thank God I, I didn't make a correlation to we heavy than like my penis or something. <laughs> <laughs> that would have really ruined the chances. Ooh, a wee heavy. There you go, ladies. Take it all in. Okay, so before we, uh, <laughs> that's it. Dance, monkey, dance for the ladies. <laughs> As he throws coins at your feet. Before we uh, get into the beers, uh, palate cleanser time. Palate cleanser. Now, this guy, second week of not having a palate cleanser because he's on drugs. You know, this could be a healing remedy, like, you know, Grammy's Grammy's rheumatism medicine from the Beverly Hillbillies. You didn't have that, did you? Is that the one where, where they just, like, like stick their finger in the drink and then they just shove it in your mouth and everything's all better? What? Isn't that a thing? No. What? Yeah, it, it, isn't that a thing where, we're like, where like you, you take, like, like, like a finger full of whiskey and you just shove it uh, into someone's mouth? No, and... you do that for babies, so they'll stop crying and it'll ease their, their teething and... Uh... Oh, Make them manageable, compliant. <laughs> How the fuck was an entire generation considered like like the height of parenting? That's it. Drunk up your babies. That'll keep them quiet. Anyway, the, the palate cleanser today is uh, uh, 1800 Reposado. 100% agave. You know it's good. And my palate cleanser is 100% pointless. It, I don't feel any better about it than you. Well, okay, I probably feel a bit better than you mm -hmm. after this. 
But you, know, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> okay, in for Penny, in for proctology exam. Oh, hey, that's nice. That's actually kind of smooth, man. By the way, uh, for anyone wondering, that wasn't a hint at, at what I'm not drinking vodka uh, tequila for. I keep mixing up the two. <laughs> yeah, because that looks like vodka. Yes. If I if I will it hard enough, like yeah. like those people who who try to like like beat the cold by thinking of like summer beaches, I could really <laughs> make myself an idiot if I just will it hard enough. You can turn yourself into an idiot by willing it. Okay, cut that. <laughs> I, I'm, I must have I must have fallen out of the box car at some point because that didn't make any sense to me. Nope, fucking cut that. <laughs> this train ride is like. Of the rails, you know? Oh, it's dark. It's not stout, stoutish, stouty, stout esque. It looks like a proper soda. Oh, don't say that. That's disappointing. Not too foamy. Maybe I'm just pouring better. I don't know. I mean, it's. Yeah, because, I mean, we've also had some. Like, uh, the past couple weeks, we, we've had at least one that really goes nuts, right? Oh, the Uber phone! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I spill some? Dear God in heaven. Yep. Oh, well. Nobody saw this. Oh, well, I was gonna... I was gonna take care of it. Taken care of! The old fat boy way. Okay? We smell it. It smells like... Smells like a void. You ever realize you just made a bunch of people on YouTube spend about 25 seconds just watching two guys <laughs> over, 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 over 30 <laughs> just shove their nose into a glass? I didn't think about it until now. Hope you're entertained. Okay, well, we might as well try it. Oh, boy, is that strong. Woo! That, that kind of reminds me of Guinness, to be honest. I was going to say it tastes like bad mead. What? Have you ever had mead? Yes. Oh. I think I've asked you this before. Well, what does bad mead taste like? Well, like okay. this? Oh, okay. I mean, not not like bad mead, because uh, I... Nucky mead. Dirty like, little mead. Yeah, like mead that's cheated on its taxes. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's saccharin. I like it. I it's, like it. It tastes like... It tastes like, uh, like, uh, what they say. It's... Like, it's, it's, it's... it's I guess it's woody. <laughs> it's a, um, You know what? It, it, it does taste a bit like wood. It, it does taste like licking a tree. No, it does taste like licking a tree. It tastes yeah. much better than that. No, no, no. Like, like, like a good tree. Like, like a maple tree. It, yeah, like, not the bad trees. Like, those fucking elms. <laughs> Yeah, it tastes more like more like a, a nice mahogany. <sighs> mahogany. It's actually nice. It's just a for lot. a strong like for a strong kind of strong beer like a. I mean, it doesn't look like a stout, but it's got that 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 flavor profile of tree. Not of tree. Oh my god. Yeah, that's oh man, that's. That's a lot. A lot of what? Just a lot, a lot of just what it is. I don't know. I like it. It's it's good, but... It's strong, though. It's very Man. strong. It's, it's, it's very... It's strong, and the flavors are very pronounced. You can tell, like, all the flavor notes are there, but they're, you know, yeah, they're smacking you in the face unapologetically. Because it's just such an innately strong beer, the caramel... Is very forward and and and, and the spice. But it's not out of whack. It's not out of bounds no. with all the other flavors. It's not like that chocolate horror of last week. Oh, oh god, no. yeah. No, no. It, it, Forget about that. This is this is yonks beyond. You, you finished it. Yes, I did because I thought it was good. No, yeah. I do. I finished good beers, and I punish bad beers. 
Is that too creepy? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, this, is, this is much better than a fucking Willy Wonka beer last week. That was a, that was horrible. You know who I blame for the beer, chocolate beer of last week? The Oompa Loompas. You know, in the in the in the in the movie, I, I have to, to be honest, I haven't read uh, the the book by Roald Dahl, but in the original movie, the Oompa Loompas were like from some some land where they were either hunted or Oompa Land. Oompa Land. They're Oompa Loompas. Why would they be afraid in their own land? Anyway, they they were hunted or something like that by I don't know by whom or by what. You're not sure why why an Oompa Loompa would be afraid in its own land. Yeah. Have you looked at any world history? <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. But so the Oompa, so Willy Wonka discovers the Oompa Loompas in this weird magical land, and he says, "Hey, look, you want to get away from all this shit? Come work for me." No. Do they, you know, do they save themselves just, you know, do they accept, embrace this slavery? Like, are they salaried employees? I mean, I, I imagine it's it's proper paid labor, uh, but I, I guess it really depends on, on what on what uh, William de defines as, as proper payment, because, I mean... Yeah, like, he might have just said, okay, look, I can't really pay you, and you'll kind of be like... Slave labor, but hey, you won't get eaten by giant monsters. Were they were they being chased by giant monsters? I don't know what the I don't know what the threat was. He never defined what drove the Oompa Loompas from their magical land into the arms of like uh, you know sweatshop sweatshop owner Willy Wonka. Makes me think that the the uh, he was just calling it Oompa Land to save face, and they they really he really saved them from like Australia. <laughs> Come with me and you'll see. <laughs> yeah, it could be save them from Australia. You know, Australian sun is uh, the Australian sun is pretty strong, so you can get that kind of orangey tan. I'm thinking. Anyway, also spiders will bite your balls. Oh yeah, like everything is in Australia wants to kill you. That's what my daughter tells me. She's not even from there. I'm, uh, I'm also your son. Yeah. Oh yeah. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Australians, we look forward to your letters. But you know, and just just send them by like those giant herrings or co or koalas. Giant herrings are what? Koalas? You think koalas fly? They drop. They're not wing creatures. No, but 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 they do kind of like maneuver in the air a little bit, kind of like. Uh... No, they don't. Yeah, because because they, they, they do still have to aim when they drop on you. They drop on people? Yeah. Jesus Christ. They call them drop bears. Oh my god. I'm never going to Australia. These demonic teddy bears falling from the sky, ready to fucking kill me. A koala will fucking destroy you. You know, I had such high hope for koalas. And they're just these demonic teddy bears that will kill you. I mean, I, I just watched a video of a guy who did a uh, free fall skydive with no parachute from like 25,000 feet. Is he insane? Yes. Um, Where did he land? Uh, in like, uh, in like a net. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Alive too. <laughs> oh my God. For, for the first like 30% of the descent, he had to wear, uh, a fucking... <laughs> I mean, I would be, uh, but but he had to wear like a like an oxygen mask because because the air was was so thin. I'll say it now. That man's an idiot. Is, is that foreshadowing for next week? Are we having like a guest idiot that we're gonna feed beer and crackers? <laughs> Dude, I don't know what I'm saying. Here you go, Idiot. <laughs> Saltines? Saltines. And a bottle of our finest bitter. Oh, no. Anyways, so. Okay. Wee Heavy. Yep. I'm down with it because I'm a Wee Heavy. Yeah, it's it, it's it's not bad. Like, it, it doesn't taste cloying. It doesn't taste... Uh, despite being a strong beer, it's not like... 
ridiculously strong. It's just a lot. If it's a lot taken in a single sip, I wouldn't have it again. But if someone was like, hey, do you want to ha- share this with me? I'd be like, okay. I would have it again. He would have it again. Yes, I would. We have it. From La Voix Malte. They make some really good beers, those people. You guys are all right. La Voix Malte. Hook us up, for God's sake. Hit us up. Yeah. And the people who made the chocolate stuff? No, thanks. Okay, so I guess we should try. I know, I'm biting the hand that feeds. This is terrible. No, the people who made the chocolate stuff, we'll give you another shot. Don't worry. Yeah. Sometime down the road. <laughs> yeah, because we're so all-powerful in our, you know... If, if you if you really want to make it up to us, uh, hit that bell and subscribe. Yes, that's what you can do. They will only see nice, nice things about your beer. Beep. So now we're on to uh, the Trappist Monk, but first I need a palate cleanser. Yes, we do. Oh, stop it. For those who... I need a little bit of Granny's Rheumatiz medicine. For those who, who may have missed last uh, week's episode, go watch it. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, for God's sake. There, there's like 20-some-odd videos to go catch up on. Yeah. Go do it now. Aren't you in lockdown? Come on, man. You got time. You got nothing better to do. Yeah. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You watch it? All right, cool. Uh, okay, then. Yeah. Here we go. The reason I'm having water is because... I'm having wisdom teeth surgery uh, in a couple weeks, so I'm, I'm keeping the alcohol to a minimum to make sure that I don't mess up the drugs. That's why. That's exactly why. And it's driving me nuts because drinking uh, tequila alone feels kind of sad and pathetic. It's, <laughs> but you know what? I'll soldier through because it's a Reposado, 1800, 100 percent. Uh, Trappist Ross 4 from uh, Trappist Monks, another strong beer. One month. This one is really, is, yeah, 11%. Come on, man. It, these people are, are these, people, these monks, I, I, I don't know what they're doing. Don't make Homer something, something. Go crazy. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Okay. With that out of the way, <laughs> I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, the Simpsons people like will come after us. Uh, like, is, it, is, it, is that like licensed? Like, is it I, all, like not like we're using it. We're just using the, the we're just using the bottle opener. I I think just based on my experience of listening to other people complain about YouTube, we're probably okay because because we're not actually using. Since it's material for the purpose of like making a, money, yeah, of like a monetized video, it's just <laughs> we are so far from being monetized. We need a roadmap and a full tank of gas just to get within visual distance of the country that would monetize us. Belgian beer. Oh, this this. <laughs> you remember that scene in Austin Powers where? Where he goes to drink uh, what he thinks is coffee. <laughs> it's a bit nutty. Oh, you don't like the cloudiness? <laughs> it's not see-through. It's not see-through, but it's just see-through enough that it's kind of like... It's po- not see-through. Exactly like your grandma's bloomers. You want your grandma's bloomers to be see-through? Perds. I don't want to think about my grandma's boomers like, <laughs> at all. Okay, so yeah, so it's opaque is what it is. It, it just, it looks like a bad curry night. But let's uh, taste it and find out. <sighs> wow, that does not taste like a strong beer. Oh, that's... You know these monks. It, it's like it's like they're working for Satan because that is so deceptive. You, you know, you go strong beer, you taste it, and nope. Damn it! Our door is open because the dogs come in, come in and out. You can't see it because I was so quick, like a cat. But <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, like a cat with dropsy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but back to the beer. Back to the beer. This will get you fucked up real quick. Oh, yeah. Because it's 11%, but it doesn't taste like it. Yeah. It's, re- it's, it's actually, it tastes rather smooth. It's got a bit of that strong beer flavor, but it doesn't have that, you know, the one-two punch. The uh, It doesn't have the Mike Tyson uppercut kind of thing. So, was Mike Tyson famous for his uppercuts? He was just famous for brutalizing his opponents. Uh, biting ears and... It's too no. bad. It's too bad that he's only famous for biting Evander Holyfield's ear. Because I mean, the, guy, the guy was an absolute legitimate terror when he was younger. Like, as far as boxing goes, oh, man, I've seen some of the, his early fights, and it's like, yeah, I would be shitting my pants up. Uh, oh, yeah, you're fighting Tyson tomorrow. It's like, excuse me? Like, excuse me why I put on these adult diapers. <laughs> man, these beers are getting to me. Yeah, no, this uh, this is this is good. Like, you know, Belgians, and particularly the monks, they got this beer thing down. It's it's really nice. Like you, you can kind of feel the the like strength of it. Oh, uh, even even though it's not in necessarily like the flavor of it. It, 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 it kind of it's it, like, it's like, kind of creeping on the outer edges, kind of yeah. like like uh, like Gollum in Lord of the Rings. You know, not right there. He's ah uh, something unpleasant right at the uh, on the outer edges, but. I don't know. I like this. If Andy Circus was a beer, this would be that. Yes. Trappist the Rush for the Andy Circus of beers. Okay, I think we've done enough damage to our livers for one day. Trappist Rush for, I give it a thumbs up. I really like it. You know what? Yeah. I'll give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. We Heavy, I like it. I like the name. And if I could get a t shirt like this, I would wear it. And I liked it. It was really strong, but it, you but the but the the flavors were really balanced. It was really a well made beer, a well made strong beer. I guarantee you don't want a t shirt that's just a big purple circle on your tummy that says "We <laughs> Heavy." As, as a person who enjoys peculiar t shirts, okay, I mean, yeah, I may have to rethink that one. You gave this a thumbs up. With reservations? Well, I it's it's not reservations. It's it's I it's one of those beers where, where I can't just like like assume that that the quality is there. Like I, I can taste the quality. It's still still not to my overall liking, but it's. But really... you can drink it with cows and cheese. I love doing things with cows. Well, there you go. You got the right beer for it. What? What? So anyways, both of these beers get thumbs up, right? Yep. Thumbs okay. up. Four, thumbs up for both beers. Another great, uh, another great session with two winners. And uh, so like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the buzzer, hit the banger, hit the gong, hit the whatever, you know, the fun, floozler, you know, all that stuff. Uh, tell your friends about us if you like us. And if you don't like us, tell your enemies and send them our way just to piss them off. And until next time, I'm Ed and this is my son Zach. And we're two Canadian guys drinking weird beers.